Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with George for another 1 vs 1 game. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, so George, why don't you go ahead and introduce the deck you'll be playing today. Today, it's time for Ava's Azure Dreams. A Tulian Ava? That means it's a mixture of purple and blue alignment. So you're going to see some fuchsia works. Unlimited fuchsia works today. Very cool. And today I'm playing Mufari, the Beast Hunter. The goal of this deck is to consistently remove the token that Mufari produces on the same turn that it enters play. So my opponent never gets a chance to do anything with it. I've got all sorts of tricks in the deck to accomplish this. So let's see if it works out. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. All right, turn one. Get my gold for turn. My nice. first play will be to play Verdant Path. I'm going to use its arrival to take a look at the top card of my deck. Uh, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Now I'll go ahead and take my free draw. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop a turn one obstructive roadblock. Wow. And I'm going to select wow. your supply cache for its imprint. So this will actually prevent you from using your supply cache right away. Uh, Very right. well done. And then I'll go ahead and pass the turn. OK. So for my turn one, I will play the chromatic ring. And then I will draw, take my free draw. Okay. And I think that's enough for my first opening play. Back to you. Alan. All right, sounds good. Turn two, get my goal for turn, take my free draw. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and spend this turn playing Intelligence Report for one, and then Killer Bees for one. And wow. then, yeah, I think that's that's good for my turn. I'll pass it over to you, George. Okay, sounds great. We start with two gold. Let's get the obnoxious name caller no. out here. All right. One gold. Get a uh, statue of the beloved queen out here. <sighs> I activate the statue of the beloved queen to give obnoxious name caller a plus zero plus one. Very nice. And I now am going to use my free draw to draw a card. I'm going to abandon my statue of the beloved queen early <laughs> nice. to be able to take myself another draw. And that didn't yield what I was hoping for, but I think I can work with this. Yeah, I'll just end my turn then. Pass. All right, sounds good. Turn three, get my gold, draw my card. Hmm. All right, so this is not ideal, but this obnoxious name caller is uh, pretty annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and have my bees attacking to the obnoxious name caller. So they're going to trade because the bee is deadly. Yep. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and play my Mufari, Beast Hunter. And then I will play Familiar Road. And for the imprint, I'm going to choose red. And that's it for me. Pass it over to you, George. So my turn. Three gold. And we'll play Remove Distractions. Remove Distractions. Gold. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to play Obstructive Roadblock, but I'm not going to bother obstructing anything. Pass my turn. All right. Turn oh, four, man. eh? Get my four gold. Draw a card. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm going to do you a favor, George. I'm actually going to sell my obstructive roadblock because I want the extra gold. So your supply cache is now free. Thank you. You're welcome. You might not feel so thankful after I do this. No, probably not. Yeah, because I'm going to spend one gold to uh, activate Mufari's second ability. And I'm going to have you produce a Mufari's quarry token, please and thank you. Yes. All right, next, I'm going to play the Hidden Waterfall. Uh, now that I'm aligned to blue, I'm going to go ahead and for one gold play Erase Memories. And I'm going to have your Mufari's Quarry token lose all abilities. Next, I'm going to play Master of Poison. No. And for my last gold, I'm going to activate Master of Poison's ability to give Mufari the deadly ability. So Mufari is now deadly. And your Mufari's Quarry is no longer immune, which means he cannot resist the deadly effect. So Mufari is going to make an attack into Mufari's Quarry and instantly remove him. Because he's ranged, he's not going to take any damage back. And that's going to score me five points. Oh. All right. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. Pass it over to you. Thank you. 
I am getting four gold. I have a removed distractions phase one. So instead of doing my free draw, I'll hold off on that. Instead, I'll use my supply cash by putting one gold in there, get back two gold. So I go to five and I draw a card and then I lose this. I'll play my master craftsman okay. for three gold. And then I will use my restraining order and I will banish Mufari with my restraining order. Very nice. And now I put this into my inactive zone because it's used. So somehow it looks like the Mufari's quarry token was able to get a restraining order on Mufari. <laughs> I had to restrain him. He's too he's too wily. Yeah, he, is too, he, is, he, is, he was getting a little wily. Right. That's right. Oh, I activate he's... remove distractions and I draw two cards and I have to discard one. Uh, I discard reuse tactics. All right, cool. And I'm out of moves, so I pass my turn to you. All right, sounds good. Turn five, eh? Get my gold for turn, draw a card. All right, so I do want to see what you're working with, George. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my intelligence report. Spending one gold, and I get to look at your hand. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay. This is scary. <laughs> wow. All right, so this, is, this just goes to show how valuable it is to get information. So uh, yeah, so that's that, and then I'll draw a card. And then I'll go ahead and remove that. Okay, so now that I know what's in your hand, that's actually very scary. So I'll spend one gold to put a search counter on this. And then for the last three gold, I'm going to play population growth. I'm not going to bother putting my champion to play quite yet. Just because I saw what's in your hand and i kind of scared. <laughs> yeah, and then I think... And I think I'm actually fine with trading out my Master of Poison with your Master Craftsman because... I think he's done his job. So yeah, I'll have him attack like this. Oh, wow. Okay. So they go ahead and trade. And yeah, no points this turn, but I think I think that's good. Pass it over to you, George. Okay, awesome. So we have five gold. We're on phase two of remove distractions. And I spend one gold to play preventive measures. Looking at your deck now. I'm not oh, going to no. give you any hints about the best thing to remove. Oh man, this, is, this deck is crazy. Guilty. There's a lot in here. Yep, and I make no apologies. I remove Become Ferocious. You big meanie head. All right, I have other tricks though. I have so many tricks. <laughs> All right, and don't forget to draw a card for preventive measures. Yeah, I need to draw my card. I will use one gold to play Obnoxious Name Caller. Mm. And this time, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to play Desire to Live. The old D2L. Have to do it. I have a free draw, so I'm going to draw my free draw. Nice. And I have uh, Remove Distractions, so I activate Remove Distractions, and I will draw two more cards and discard one. Very nice sequencing. Then I will get rid of Triumphant Banner, and I will now play... Oh, wait. Since it's not doing anything for me, my destructive roadblock, I'm going to sell it. Nice. Okay. And I'm going to play Supportive Friends. Very cool, George. You're primed for a big turn and next turn. Hopefully. And I pass to you. All right. Awesome. Turn six. Get my gold for turn. Get my phase counter. All right. So I'm not going to use my free draw yet. I'm actually going to use my population growth first. I'm going to activate it. Searching for this very useful card called Bold Rabble Rouser. All right, and then now I'll use my free draw. Okay, so I'm gonna activate my hidden waterfall, spending one gold to put a search counter, gaining two to go up to seven. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and play Mufari. One, two, three. We're gonna activate his second ability to have you produce a Mufari's quarry token. All right, and like I said at the beginning of the video, the whole point of this deck is to remove the quarry before you get any chance to do anything with it. So I'm gonna remove it right away. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it this time. This time, I'm going to play Bold Rabble Rouser for three. And I'm going to have both of his arrival abilities target Mufari. So Mufari's attack limit is going to go up by one. So his attack limit is now two. And he's going to be swift until end of turn. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Mufari, who can attack right away because he's swift, attack into the Mufari's quarry. So he'll deal three damage first, reducing the quarry down to three. And then the quarry will deal two damage to Mufari. 
And then, because his attack limit is 2, he can actually attack one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And this time, Mufari's 3 damage will be enough to remove the quarry before the quarry has a chance to deal damage to him. After a successful hunt, Mufari is quite satisfied. I'm going to score another 5 points. Alright, so for my next little play here, I'm going to play Quiet Path. And I'm going to activate its arrival ability. Look at the top card. I think I'm okay to not have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and abandon the Hidden Waterfall to draw a card. All right, and I think I'm pretty happy with that turn. Pass it back to you, George. Oh man, what a strong turn. All right, so I get six gold on phase three of Remove Distractions. I will take my free draw now. Okay, great. Hidden Flower Patch, I play that now. Beautiful. Remove Distractions, I will draw two more cards. And then Supportive Friends into the Inactive Zone. And now this is resolved. How good is your hand if you're and discarding supportive friends? I play Ava. That's three gold. Uh huh. I play Refuse Defeat. Wow. Uh, a noxious name caller should go to Mufari. All right. Mufari down. The supportive friends, they attack the bold rabble rouser. Wow. And I put my last gold into the supportive friends to activate their ability. When I end my turn, I score four points for each other Denzin I control that didn't enter my active zone this turn and had less than its starting health, which is both the obnoxious name caller and supportive friends, plus two because of supportive friends' special ability, which is 10 points. Wow. Pass. Insane turn, George. Whew. Thank you. All right, turn seven. Let's see if I can keep up with you, man. Get my gold for turn, get my phase counter. Uh, okay, so first things first, I'm gonna use my population growth. Uh, okay, I'm gonna fetch out a treasure hunter. I think that's not bad. And then now I'm gonna take my free draw. I'm gonna play treasure hunter Okay. for three gold. And then I am gonna drop a tranquil cottage. That unlocks his expedition, which I will now activate to bring myself up to six. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play outmaneuver on your supportive friends. All right. And then I'm going to play another outmaneuver oh. on your obnoxious name caller. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. And then for my last two gold, I'm going to play Explore the Unknown. And then I'm going to go ahead and abandon my quiet path to draw a card. That's what I like to see. All right. Go ahead. Pass turn. Okay. So I have a Refuse Defeat Phase 1 starting. I have 7 gold. I play Obstructive Roadblock, and I choose oh. Tranquil Cottage. All right, pretty nice play. I play Astute Scholar. Mm, okay. And I activate his ability of arrival to draw two cards. Very nice. I play Mauricio, and uh, I also have Refuse Defeat Phase 1. I'm going to choose Mauricio as my Refuse Defeat. Yep, what a combo. I play Routed Library. Oh, I still have a free draw. You are correct. I will draw a card for my free draw. I'm going to sell my chromatic ring for yep. one gold. It's done its job. I play preventive measures. Ah, another one, eh? Mr. Fun Police over here. Oh, no, 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 my good sir. Your race memories is going, is going absolutely into the inactive zone. Oh, this is brutal. I'm going to draw a card. I put the uh, one gold into Hidden Flower Patch. Okay. And I put the other one into the Crowded Library. We'll pass my turn. All right, you're set up for a pretty big turn next turn. Pretty scary. All right, so get my eight gold for turn eight, and then get my two phase counters. So yeah, first things first, we're going to activate Population Growth just to... Fish more cards out of my deck. I think this time I'm going to go for a Grey Wolf. Shuffle and lose that. Uh, and then now I'm going to go ahead and activate my Explore the Unknown. Looking at the top three. Mm -hmm. Put this into my hand. And then now I'm going to use my free draw. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play Hidden Crag. Uh, that's going to unlock this gentleman's expedition, which expedition. I'm going to activate right away to go up to 10 gold. 10 juicy Oof. gold. Five cards, 10 gold, yeah. a lot of damage. 
So let's see, this Mauricio is V scary. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the treasure hunter attack into Mauricio, dealing two damage to him. And Mauricio is not gonna get removed because he has the refuse defeat ability on him. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play and activate Black Moral Powder to remove all his abilities. So he's just gonna be a blank zero zero, which means he's gonna get removed in the process. Yep. Yeah, that's too scary. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and play my second Bold Rabble Rouser. So I'm just gonna do that same song and dance that you've already seen. Remember, the goal of this deck is to make sure the Mufari's quarry is removed on the turn it comes into play. So let's go ahead and play Mufari for three. Let's go ahead and activate him right away. Go ahead and produce me a Mufari's quarry token, please and thank you. No problem. All right, and now I'm gonna have Bold Rabble Rouser's arrival abilities, both of them target Mufari. So again, Mufari's attack limit is now increased by one, so he can attack twice. And Mufari is also now swift, so he can attack right away. So I'll do that whole song and dance again, attacking into Mufari's quarry twice, removing him in the process and scoring myself five more points. I have a single gold left. I'm gonna go ahead and spend that to put a search counter on this hidden crag. And then I'm gonna abandon my familiar row to draw another card. Whew, all right, so let's see. With this and this, you're gonna score four. And I know you have the supportive friends in your hand, so that's another two, but Hopefully, not enough to win the game. Fingers crossed. Pass it over to you, George. Let's see what you got. Okay. Eight gold. Phase two, I'm refused defeat. Uh, free draw. I will take that now. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a question for you, Alvin. Yes, sir. Can Alluring Seductress take Mufari? Uh, yes, you absolutely can. But because Mufari is my champion, when this is put into your active zone, it's actually going to be in that process placed back into my champion zone. So you can use okay. it as a, as an expensive removal, essentially. Right. Well, I guess that means I can only do one other thing. Uh, I don't have any more supportive friends. I do have Black Mora Powder Wait. and this. And I, I dismissed one into your hand. All right, everyone. So. We just realized that when I had outmaneuvered George's supportive friends and obnoxious name caller, rather than putting them into his hand, he put them into his inactive zone. So we only just caught that. So uh, we just went ahead and, and had George put the supportive friends and obnoxious name caller back into his hand from his inactive zone. So if anyone was wondering what just happened, uh, we only just realized that. And because it's an illegal game state, because dismiss says put into hand, not into inactive zone, we had to rectify it. So the, the game state is now legal again. Uh, the supportive friends and obnoxious name caller is now in George's hand. I give refuse defeat to astute scholar. Yep. Okay. I play supportive friends. Yep. There she is. Back in play. I also play quick learner. Oh, that is crazy. Okay. And I am going to spend one gold to learn from astute scholar. So do I get his arrival and refuse defeat? That's right. You get his arrival and his refuse defeat. Uh, so with two gold left, I have some pretty serious decisions to consider, but I think another great move would be calling my obnoxious name caller okay. and putting one more gold into my supportive friends. Yep. I think that's the right play. Get more points. Because Inspiration's activated, my Obnoxious Name Caller's negative 1-1, one, one, I would like to use that on the Bold Rabble Rouser. All right, off he goes. My Astute Scholar, I would like him to attack Mufari the Beast Hunter. All right, and because he's refusing defeat, he will be able to defeat, actually, Mufari and stay in play in the process. Because of Ava's special ability, when I end my turn, I score four points for each other Denzian I control that didn't enter the active zone this turn and has less than its starting health, which would be this card right here. Four plus two. And plus support friends gives me two extra points, so it's six points, so I'm at 16. Whew. What a turn. And now I pass my turn. If it goes back to your turn, you definitively just win. So I have to win on this turn. But thankfully, I should be able to do it. So I'm going to get my gold for this turn, get my phase counter for three gold. I'm going to play Mufari. And then for another gold, I'm going to activate his second ability, having you create a Mufari's quarry token. Boy, oh boy. 
All right, and once again, the name of the game is removing this token before you got a chance to do anything with it. And I have just the tricks in my hand to do it. I'm going to go ahead and spend one more gold. The Become Ferocious. To play Become Ferocious. And guess what I'm targeting? Your Mufari's Quarry. So that's going to turn him into a 3-7. But and more importantly, with no abilities. All right. And then for my final trick, I'm going to go ahead and spend three gold to play Displace. Oh. And that's going to dismiss oh, your Mufari's Quarry token because he's no longer immune. Displace is going to, in fact, remove him, scoring myself five points in the process and taking the game. Well done. <laughs> GG's, George. GG. This game was crazy close. I have to say, if I wasn't able to take it on that turn, you would have absolutely taken it. So you had such a commanding position at this point that there was no way I was going to be able to slow you down. I had to take it this turn or you were going to win. And man, 20 to 16, that was a very, very, very close game. Ava's very good solo play. Like, she's very good one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, Ava's very powerful 1v1. A lot of the starting champions are, uh, they get a little bit of a natural boost because you don't have those additional opponents to kind of mess with your stuff. So even though you can see the points coming, uh, you only have a limited amount of resources to do anything about it. So uh, the starting champions do get a, a small natural buff in, in one versus one. I think the coolest thing is that um, I still keep thinking like cards are always uh, the inactive zone and I keep thinking like people wouldn't want to put things back into my hand like like I always think of the most punishing thing like this card is no longer in a place of play but I understand that there are sometimes better plays of just putting cards in your hand and just like wow man right so the way the way dismiss works is it's a weaker removal than something like destroy, right? Because destroy will put it into the inactive zone, which means you can't play it anymore. Dismiss will put it into your hand, which means you can play it again. But the thing is, dismiss is always cheaper. So, so displace um, for only three gold, you can dismiss a denizen or item, and then outmaneuver for only right. two gold, you can dismiss a denizen. So you're paying less gold for it, but then you get a weaker removal. I think it's interesting in terms of just understanding myself of like. Why am I so hard strung with like, why don't I use more dismissive cards? Cause maybe, maybe there's more like looking at your hand and looking at your card play and style, like, wow, that's actually pretty powerful. And even though like you gave me things that would put me in a better position, I still couldn't keep up with you. And just like really crazy, like what kind of combinations you can create at Meander. I love it a lot. Like I, I love the variance. Like you don't have to do a single style of play. Like. I, I'm just finding it interesting about like learning more about Meander and like these words and like um, learning how to tap into this word and be like responsive to that where it's like, oh, that looks good. I love that. I love that psychological play. Like I couldn't get that from other games. I think I like that. I think I, I think I like words having meaning again. I like the way that Meander's card play means more. Everything means more. Does that make sense? Yeah, George, I'm so happy to hear that. Wonderful to hear. All right, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now.